I needed to get away after Algy's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, um... <laughs> this game... I did not remember any of these things. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. The world romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cock van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. Mm. What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. I couldn't really miss. It was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. Uh, okay. <laughs> who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. Oh. I see. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Ah, oh, this game is quite something. What level are we? We are level 73, basically. Literally one more chimera for 73. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Mm-hmm. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. Hmm. I see. I just couldn't bring myself to use the buzzer on this dear lady. Oh. Yeah. What's the name of this game? It's called uh, Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. If you know German, you may know it under Baphomet's Fluch. Aren't it really neat? I recognize the guy. It was the Nobel Prize winner from the country whose name I couldn't pronounce. Oh, that's right. We saw him in the paper earlier. Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me, in person. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. Hmm, interesting. Didn't quite expect that. Do I know this game? I played it like in 1997, 98, 96, somewhere around door, when it was 
well, just kind of near here in Europe. Basically, we played it among my family. Where each one of us had our own save file, and it was quite interesting because we got stuck pretty frequently. Then after a few days, somebody else found one way to get past, and so we could continue, then somebody else found a way further. It was really neat. And, yeah. Is this the infamous goat puzzle? Yes it is. Yes it is. <laughs> 